This is the second mod to the 2011 Chevrolet Cruze 1.4 liter turbocharged engine. In the first part, I installed a 10 inch multi-purpose CarPlay screen and today I'm going to show you how to get that blow of bulb noise from your stock turbo car. So this is what the car sounds like right now without any modifications. First, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the negative side of the battery and then I will go ahead and remove the mass airflow sensor plugs. I will then loosen all the hose clamps so I can remove the stock air filter. Make sure to remove the vacuum hose and wiggle the filter housing bushes and I always like to give a quick sweep wherever I see dirt just as a personal preference. Now let's unbox the new cold air intake. This is a Spectre cold air intake. And it is supported by an aftermarket mass airflow sensor housing. So let me go ahead and assemble them before I install it in the car. Now I will try to install the aftermarket air intake 3 inch diameter with this 3 inch air intake pipe which might not be a good idea. So here I am trying to adjust the cold air intake installation with different stock pipes. But it looks like I will have to resort to heating the stock pipe to enlarge it and join it with the aftermarket pipe. I know it would be much easier to get an aftermarket aluminum pipe but I want to integrate and keep the stock pipe since I am under a budget. I'm going to go ahead and tighten all the hose clamps and before that I'm going to go ahead and replace one of the hose clamps as it broke while I was trying to install it. Now it's time to remove the MAF sensor from the stock air filter and install it in the new MAF housing. Make sure you carefully remove and install the MAF sensor without damaging it. Now I'm gonna plug the MAF sensor and then weirdly zip tie the cold air intake to the most stable position and tighten it. I know this looks like, hey, what is going on with the colder intake? But believe me, it's the same thing functionality wise, as long as it's stable. Now after a quick tightening of all the clamps, I will go ahead and connect the negative terminal of my battery. Now it's time to turn on the car and listen to the change. It's truly amazing how the cold air intake makes the blow off valve sound so audible. This mod was just to get the sound effect from the blow off valves and has nothing to do with additional horsepowers. That was an easy installation, right? Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.